How do you embed Google Forms on your WordPress website? Let's find out. I've created a simple Google Form. It's a survey that I'm running for my YouTube channel. WP Beginner YouTube Survey is the name of the form, and the survey is also directed to you. Are you subscribed to WP Beginner on YouTube? The answers are, or the questions, or the options are yes, no, and I just did after looking at this survey. You know what to do and what I'm hinting at. So if I want to embed this, let's say, on my website, what's the actual process? Well, it's very simple. Once you've created the form, once everything is done, everything is set up the way you like because you have a lot of options to create the form, just go to the send option and you'll see multiple options here. You have the email option. You can send it to people via email. You can also have the link option or you can also go to this third option, which is the embed option. So let's click on that. And once the embed option is visible, just click here and the entire thing will be selected on its own. Just press Control C. So I press Control C on my keyboard so that this entire piece of code is now on my clipboard. I'll go to my WordPress website and now I have a simple page setup which is called Survey Form. And what I'm going to do is add an HTML block on the page. So I'll type in forward slash custom HTML. You can already see the first option, but you can type in HTML and that's the block that'll show up. Custom HTML, just click on it. And then in the block itself, all you do is just press Control V and the HTML will be pasted right here. And if you want to see the results, then you can switch from HTML to preview. Let's try it out, preview. And you can instantly see that the preview is showing up. The exact form that we just created is now showing up. But if you also create or look at the preview after saving the uh, post, you can also preview it in a new tab. Let's see if it works. Survey form exactly like this. It definitely works. You can submit the form and you can see the results in the or inside Google Forms where the results actually show up. But what if you're using the classic editor? If you're still one of those guys who still love the classic editor, you can still do the same thing in the classic editor as well. The process is slightly different. So let's say this is the post I've created on my website, which is using the classic editor. I want to embed that same form right here. I don't or I won't paste the entire code when I'm in the visual editor. I'll switch to the text editor. Text. And what happens or the benefit here is that I can type in HTML, which was what the code was. So I'll just type in Control V. Now the HTML is pasted here. I'll switch back to the visual view and you'll see the form actually shows up right here in the classic editor. If I want to preview it, I'll just click and the form will be previewed. The survey two page is now previewing and you can see it shows up right here. And that's how you embed Google Forms on your WordPress website. But there's one piece of information you should know. If you're creating forms like this just to collect information from users or send them newsletters or doing anything else, there's a much better solution that you should also know that exists right inside WordPress. It's called WP Forms. WP Forms is one of the best, uh, I'd say, form builders out there with over 5 million users using it. There's a free version. There's a premium version. You should check it out because you can do contact forms. You can do payment forms. That means actually collect payments right inside creating forms, which is not possible in Google Forms. You can also do survey forms, newsletters. You have conditional logic. So you can say, hey, if user selects this field, enable all tense fields, or let's say user selects one field, redirect them to a particular page, or do or even replace your WordPress login and registration, uh, I say pages with WP forms. There's a lot of functionality, and I've done a few videos already on uh, this particular topic. So you might find WP forms being the much better solution for your form creation needs on WordPress because it's built right for WordPress. It integrates very well with WordPress. It also has advanced features that I was talking about, uh, which WP forms has and Google form does not have because WP forms is built for WordPress. Google forms, not so much. It's a web based kind of application. So you might find those functionality much more useful to you. So make sure to check out this video before you leave and also fill the survey form, which I'll place on the screen. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button if this video was helpful to you. And of course, if you have any questions, feedback for this lesson, leave that in the comments. My name is Yuvraj. You're watching WP Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.